Well, from TikTok taunts to flash mobs, authorities say social media has been a big part of the many chaotic gatherings and sometimes shootings in the city. But you ask young people and they will tell you it's much deeper. Why are these things happening? I feel like it's lack of resources, like level up. It's not enough when it's nothing to do. They find something to do and it's not always positive. Some teens say idle time is driving large gatherings like this from South Philadelphia to East Market Street, Penn's Landing to I-95. It's Instagram, social media. So somebody posts something and be like, oh, go here at such such time. They're going to go. So-called social media blast that Samia Glenn says she won't follow. Well, I'm not about to waste my time and take out my time and energy to go somewhere that I know about to pop off wrong. When things pop off, that means it can quickly turn violent. In a city that has faced a historically high murder rate and shootings, teens say sometimes it's as simple as someone's Can't pride that can trigger the lawlessness. Instead of fighting or speaking it out, they'd rather pick up a gun and then it's like it elevates real quick. Do you guys know anybody that has been directly impacted by any of this? I got way more than a handful of people. Including 14 kids who attend nonprofit Level Up shot in the last year. The organization, like other anti-gun violence programs, continues to be a safe haven for hundreds of young people across the city. How do you change the culture of that? How do you change the conversation? If we wasn't guided here, we would have never knew about this place. You kind of bring your you bring other people and then they like it and then they figure out that this is a good thing to do. Getting connected through word of mouth, relying on organizations like this and each other to stay safe and motivated. I feel like all youth or people my age should have a goal, a resource that you can have to take your mind off of things, something that you want to do to strive to get better. Like some you're working towards, a lot of people are not working towards nothing. And what's really great about these young people that I spoke with is that one of them has a clothing line, the other one has a mini hair business, the last one has a passion for music. So all of these interests that they're cultivating at the nonprofit helps keep them on the right path.